I am Dr. Prashant working as an assistant professor at Department of Geography, Shivaji University. I have nearly 13 years of PG teaching experience and with this experience, I will try to bring the best for you. So friends kindly support my YouTube channel. Please share, subscribe and like this video if you get any value out of this. Today we are going to discuss the meaning of correlation analysis and its types. When we look at the definition of the correlation analysis it includes the study of existence, magnitude and direction of relationship between two or more variables. It is a statistical tool, which study the relationship between two or more variables. In order to understand correlation analysis in depth we have to study the types of correlation between variables. Followings are the types of the correlation. First one is positive or negative correlation. Second type of correlation is perfect correlation. Third limited degree of correlation. Fourth is linear and nonlinear correlation. And lastly, if there is no interdependence between two variables, then it is defined as a no correlation or zero correlation. Earn up to $30 per 1,000 clicks on linkvertise.net. Nice. Hence, one by one, we are going to elaborate the types of correlation. Now we are moving ahead with positive and negative correlation. Difference between positive and negative correlation is judged on the basis of the direction of change between two variables. If the changes in both variables are in same direction that is if one variable increases then another variable will also increase. Or increase in one variable is responsible to increase in other related variable then the correlation is said to be positive correlation. On the other hand, if the change in variable is in opposite direction that is one variable increases other corresponding variable decreases then it is known as negative correlation. We have few examples of positive and negative correlation that are slope and the erosion steeper the slope greater is the erosion. It represents positive correlation besides this increase in fertilizers leads to increase in production, rate of temperature increase and rate of evaporation. On the contrary, increase in height of place from mean sea level and decrease in rate of temperature, Likewise we also have other examples of negative correlation height and pressure, temperature and pressure. The second type of correlation is the perfect correlation if the change in two related variables are exactly proportional or change in one variable is proportional to the change in other variable then the correlation is called as perfect correlation. If the proportional changes are in the same direction then there is perfect positive correlation between the two variables and it is denoted by correlation coefficient value plus one. And if the proportional changes are in the reverse direction then there is perfect negative correlation and it is represented by minus 1 correlation coefficient. Such a condition of perfect positive and perfect negative correlation is rarely occurred. We also have good examples of perfect positive and negative correlation temperature and heat, rainfall and runoff representing the perfect positive correlation whereas height and temperature, height and pressure denotes perfect negative correlation. Third type of the correlation is limited degree of correlation sometimes variables may be correlated but an increase in one variable need not always be accompanied by corresponding equal increase or decrease in other variable. Correlation is said to be limited positive when there is unequal changes in two variables in the same direction and limited negative when unequal changes are in the reverse direction. The high limited degree correlation is represented with plus or minus 0 0.75 to plus or minus 1, Moderate degree represents with plus or minus 0 0.25 to plus or minus 0 0.75. Whereas low degree correlation is denote the extent of correlation coefficient value is between 0 to plus or minus 0 0.25. The fourth type of correlation is linear and nonlinear correlation. This distinction is based on the nature of the graph and the relation between variables. If the graph representing correlation between variables is straight line then it is said to be linear and if graph is a curve then it is called a nonlinear correlation. At the last we are going to discuss no correlation or the zero correlation. When there exists no interdependence between two variables or no relationship is found between two variables then it is called as no or zero correlation and it is denoted by zero correlation coefficient. Visit linkvertise.net and earn money through links now.